All right, here we go. The NDSU product, Easton Stick. Um, you know, he's been competing with Cardale Jones here throughout the preseason. They're neck and neck. Now in this game, Stick was 8-12 to through a touchdown pass. Right here, the first play that he gets in, and in the third quarter, reading the defensive end, scooting up field using that straight line speed. Next play, as the field switches to the fourth quarter, he takes his arrow route there on first down. Uh, so this was an impressive performance by Stick. Right here, hitting the over route on second down. And, you know, it's a good read. Single high safety. Wide receiver at the top of the screen is going to take that man away from where Stick wants to go with the football. Hits the over route. Good throw. Get him into a rhythm. New set of downs for L.A. Fourth quarter, 13 minutes left to go. It's Stick's quarter. Stick here, getting back to the line of scrimmage. And you say, well, it's not a great yardage gain. Obviously, it was not. But that's some athleticism to get the burst back to the line of scrimmage to make it second and 10, not second and 14. Okay. So it is second and 10. And this is a pass where Stick goes deep to the right on a deep ball. And it was a bad read. It was obviously an incomplete pass, but if we watch before the snap, top of the screen cornerback, he was showing man initially, and that's what Stick looked at initially, but then right when the ball's about to be snapped, the cornerback top of the screen is looking at Stick, so he's playing zone coverage. That means the fade's probably not going to be there. Let's see what the safeties do. It's basically quarters, so that cornerback here top of the screen bailing, Stick should not be going there. He should be going to his tight end right here on the under. So that's a misread. The under is open. But on the next play, he hits the under. So he he instantaneously corrects himself, self-corrects himself here, hits the under on third and ten. And then just a marvelous jump and flip by the tight end there, number 80, to get the first down. New set of downs now. They're going to run the counter. Anthony Lynn runs the counter on first ten. First and ten. <clears throat> so now it's second and manageable. As the Chargers are approaching red zone territory, quick bubble screen. Nice job of making sure that, that, that the pass doesn't get batted down by the lineman. And it's a first down there. So, you know, as we see, Sticks getting into a rhythm here right off the jump. Big time run out of the gun. So, so that's a big time running play right there another run first and goal and then stick makes an unbelievable on the move throw right here we'll just we're just gonna let it run second reaction there's a lane for him to run into and he puts this thing back shoulder so he is improvising on a structure he locates who he wants to go to and then he has the ability to decide to throw it back shoulder at the last second like th like this might be one of the best throws that I've seen all preseason long. And we're going to see the replay. Everybody's excited, as they should be. But watch this. He's covered. He throws an open back shoulder. That's a sick throw. Sick. Jeez. So stick showing well in this contest. So we're going to fast forward to the next drive that stick enters in. <clears throat> so here he is again. Nice, clean pocket, taking his Texas route. Now, he's not forcing this when maybe he wants to go downfield, right? Two high safeties, zone under coverage, the Texas route's there. On time, at the face mask. All right? Second and three. Play action, throwing with anticipation, touch, timing, accuracy, all those things. This is a pro-style under-center concept that he ran at NDSU. Now, it's an easy read because he knows it's man-under, or man-to-man -man coverage, single high safety. So he knows he's going the over here, but still a nice throw. Let's see if they replay it. I believe they do. They do not. New set of downs, first and ten. They're thrown on first. 
Why not? He's in a rhythm. Good ball, two receivers were in the same spot. That's not Stick's fault. <clears throat> Penalty on this play. Repeat the down, second and long. Screen game, on time. Easy throw, but he does it well still in terms of his mechanics on that throw. So now a third and seven shot for him. Let's see what happens on this one. He's forced to take the under. Now it's fourth down. You know, he takes his outlet late there. You know, out of necessity. So fourth and eight man-to-man -man coverage across the board. In the gun again. Big time throw. Fourth down. Okay. Outside release top of the screen by the receiver. Loses the cornerback, and he knows he's going there right away. Accurate. He kind of looked like his teammate, Philip Rivers, right there, honestly. Throwing with anticipation early. Decisive. Now the Chargers run it here. So, um, solid performance by Stick. Then they run it in for, or no, was, was that Stick scoring the touchdown? Sorry, I cut this thing off a bit too soon. Nose for the end zone, not taking no for an answer. He gets in the zone. So stick. Keep an eye on him moving forward. Now it's him and Cardell Jones. Jones was four or five for 50 yards in this game. He didn't play as much as stick. But week four, Anthony Lynn saying that, you know, that contest could determine who sticks <laughs> um, as the number three quarterback. And I believe it should be Easton Stick based on preseason performances.